Episode two, man. Yeah, what about it? Well, I've been trying to come up with a name. I haven't really... Well, we've got a lot of options, don't we? Yeah. I think that we can name, pretty much name anything we want. Yeah. I got a, I got a great idea. Okay. Why don't we do a voiceover when we figure out the name of the okay. episode, yeah. and we'll just we'll add just it in like later. Do a voiceover, yeah. and then... All right, so yeah. Let's, so let's, let's try that real, so real we'll come up with the name. So it's yeah, guys. Hey, hey Jess, what are you up to? Uh, guys, I'm out here at the market right now. What's going on? Uh, we're trying to come up with a name for episode two. So we're wondering if you could help us out with that. A name for episode two? Uh, I mean, we could be Lee Market Fanatics back with a vengeance. All right, so let's, let's, let's do our little thing and then let's start. You ready? You go okay. first. Okay. I am Steve Swanson. And I'm Steve Kreider. And, and we're, we're the Lee Market, Market Fanatics. Fanatics. Welcome to episode two. Lee Market Fanatics back with a Hey, my name is Justin Kibler. I grew up about seven or eight miles from Rogers, Ohio, in East Palestine, Ohio. If you're from Columbiana County and you've never been to the Rogers sale, I want to know what the heck your problem is. This is the place to be. And, you know, I've actually played hooky from work on Fridays to come to the Rogers sale, not, on, not only for the good deals, but also because of the people watching. That's my favorite thing to do here. Um, and I've always said, I've posted it on Facebook before, and I've told the people that run the sale that they need to have a reality TV show here. It would do great. It would, you know, be number one. So it's awesome that something is finally coming around like this. Hi, my name is Holly Bear. Um, I'm a fourth generation member of the Bear family. We run the market down here at Rogers. Um, growing up around the flea market was definitely a very unique childhood that I don't think very many people can say they had. Um, my earliest memories are sitting on the auction block on dad's knee as he sold every Friday, um, selling calves and different things out of the chicken barn up at the other end, or um, selling eggs and produce across the block. Our family's very, very hands-on from a very young age. You know, we've worked at the flea market, we've been around it, it's in our blood. I think one of the great things that the market does is it's a great place to like incubate a business almost, and maybe that's just the business student coming out in me. But um, you definitely see so many people come down here with startup ideas. Um, they're all entrepreneurs out there trying to get their idea, their product across, just trying to make a living. And you see a lot of that through the market as you walk row to row. Um, you'll see a family business that you know could have been out here for 50 years since the start. So you know you see that, or you just see the young person out there trying to get their idea across. Maybe they don't have um, the capital for a brick and mortar building or something, but they're just. Um, this is a great place to kind of test run your idea, to trial it, and just see what you can come up with. And all the different unique people and the feedback you get is very beneficial, I feel. Hey, you guys, it's Jess, and today we are working with a lot of metal. <laughs> We're here at the old shop with Russ. Hi. Hi, Russ. How are you? Good. And uh, tell us a little bit about the old shop. How did this get started? Well, we just got introduced to the iron, and it just seemed like a fun thing to get into, and it just went from there. When we first started out, the only animals they created was pigs, chickens, and I think goats, and it, you could see how it's progressed from there. So we went from like a barnyard to like a museum yep, to like to everything. Literally, I've been watching people walk up and ask for things all across the board: hummingbirds, minions, dinosaurs, and he's been able to accommodate all of their requests. Unfortunately, we have, because <laughs> it's a lot you can see to put out. It takes us 
over two hours, usually three hours on a setup and two hours on a teardown. So the weather is a big factor because we need time to take it down, otherwise we get wet, you know. But you know, so we try to cater to what people want. So we we usually buy five and then we see if they like it and then if they do then we buy more. It's like we first got these dinosaurs, we used to get these. I would sell 50 of the little T-Rexes in a year. Now it's down to 20 or 30. You know, they lose their popularity after a while. What's your most popular piece right now? Actually, the Bigfoots have been a big seller. And then uh, actually, they, they start making rounds, like the margarita round. I don't know if you can see it over there. It's got a parrot on it. Of course, that's that season for, for tiki bars. Stuff. Yes. Yeah, we sell a lot of tiki bars. Harley Davidson stuff sells very well. The, the pendulum. So, like I said, we have so much. It's not really like we have, you know, one thing that we sell five of when we have so much. So, sure. they, you know, some people like the flowers. Some, and that's why we bring so much, because even on a bad day, we can hopefully do well. Absolutely. You know, even though it kills us, you know, yeah, at the end of the day, I am can't wait to go home and have a beverage when I get home. <laughs> a sentiment I relate to all too well. Yeah. I'm Holly Bear, and thank you so much for watching Flea Market Fanatics. Well, I have to keep it on the, you know, clean, you know. I've seen some pretty crazy things down here that I question, what was that all about? But what I do know is I've seen people carry around snakes around here. I don't even know if they're supposed to have the snakes around their neck. And while they're doing that, they're carrying their asparagus and their, you know, things of peaches too. So they're pretty talented doing stuff like that. My name's Leroy Eberly. I come to Rogers as a vendor and a buyer. I come here mostly because I'm a pediatrician. That's my job and I come here because it's relaxing and it's more fun than being at work on a Friday morning. So I grew up not far from Rogers in Chippewa Township, Pennsylvania, just over the border, about 15 miles. I grew up on a dairy farm, and if you are a dairy farmer, you know that you are married to the cows. A life I absolutely never wanted to continue after I got out of school. Some of the things that people do sell here, Again, I question that. I'm like, can you really get away with that? <laughs> but um, stuff that I like to buy is, you know, the produce, um, some of the antiques, coin collecting, and all that stuff. And they have that all here at Roger, so it's pretty cool. I like to come here and buy and sell Civil War antiques, mostly swords, guns. Um, the main thrust of my collection is Bibles, so if I can find uh, just even a Civil War dated Bible, but certainly if I can find one that's identified as to who carried it or you know, where it was during the war, that's even better. But swords and guns sell a lot better on the open market, so. I came to Rogers, as I said, as a young kid, ha hung out here at Rogers for fun, never wanted to marry a farmer, because I had grown up on a dairy farm. And lo and behold, I find Peach Man, who was trying to sell me peaches. I couldn't stand Peach Man, he was annoying. He was always trying to get me to buy his peaches. But I, I finally bought his peaches, and now I'm his wife and I'm his lead salesperson. I don't have any guns or swords that were owned by Civil War generals, but I did uh, have a Bible that was owned by a Medal of Honor winner. He served during the Civil War, and then later he got the Medal of Honor during the Spanish-American War, so that was the best Bible that I've ever had in my collection. I would say the most interesting story is when people come up to me when I'm selling something, produce, and they say, well, you don't look like a farmer. And then I stop for a minute and I say, well, what does a farmer look like? And they never know what to say. But that's like Rogers. You never know who you're going to see, what you're going to see, who you're going to see. It's a lot of oddities. But in the summertime, you best believe that I'm going to be here. Like I said, I've played hooky from work. You know, hopefully my bosses don't see that. To come to Rogers, I don't do that any other day of the week, just on Fridays in the summertime. So here at Rogers, um, when you become a vendor, you become like a big family and you know these people, you set up every week. Um, it's part of being here. You get here bright and early before the sun even rises. It's freezing cold, it's wet, it's summer, but you're freezing. You're here all day and you see your regular customers every week. They know where you set up. So goodness gracious, you never wanna move where you set up because they get mad at you. So I like to come to Rogers for the people watching. And, and a lot of people will say that about coming here. But one of my favorite things is when somebody comes here and recognizes me as a pediatrician selling things at Rogers and there's, there's my pediatrician, why is he set up at Rogers? You know, are things that bad in the medical field? And uh, one of my favorite things that I've seen while I've been down here actually was a purchase that we made for a friend of mine. Um, um, we bought him the largest pair of underwear that I've ever seen in my entire life. I, I kid you not, they were huge. 
Huge. Huge. Huge. <laughs> Can't buy that at any store. I'm Justin Kibler, and I'm a flea market fanatic. Hi. Oh, that was okay. Hello, baby. You don't like a camera. But everybody said how pretty. You're so pretty, you gotta be on camera. <laughs> crazy girl. He's a crazy free marketer. <laughs> My name is Star Vincent. I sell peaches and produce here at Rogers Flea Market. Thank you for watching Flea Market Fanatics. Hi, I'm Stacy, and this is Holly, and we've been a dynamic shopping duo for 22 years. About this time of year, we get the Rogers bug. She texts me on a Friday morning, Holly, let's go to Rogers. I start thinking, oh, I've got all kind of sh to do. I've got to clean my house. I've got to go, I got to go to the gym. I have all kind of stuff to do, but I want to go to Rogers. So my heart starts pumping, my adrenaline's up. I'm like, let's go. I call her, it takes about 10 seconds to decide. She goes, but I haven't showered. I said, neither have I. People at Rogers don't care. They don't care what we look like. We're like, so, so we get in the car about 8.30, we start coming out, we talk about our goals, our priorities, what are we gonna get? We pull into the parking lot looking all ragged. I say, Holly, we can squeeze our butt cheeks and we can walk really quick and that'll be our exercise. That'll be our exercise for the day. I grab the cart, you need that because everything gets really heavy. Your arms we go start to our breaking. fruits and produce. We talked to our Amish girls, who we actually recruited them to clean our house. Then one got pregnant, so they quit on us. Then we go to the hippie flower guy. He's great. We bargain with him. Sometimes he looks really tired, and other times it looks like he smokes a little bit. Looks too like much. he smokes a little bit. So then we go out to the lot. We go around the perimeter. If you go in the aisles, it gets super crowded. Sometimes we get sidetracked and go to the sunglass guy. If he's, if he's here from Florida. Yeah. And then the, uh, the makeup man. This guy's awesome, he has great prices. But we did get some good deals with the flag lady, the bulk candy, and oh, our drugs. Uh, like razors and all that kind of stuff. My name is Michael, you're watching Flea Market Fanatics. Okay, I'm saying same thing to say, my name's Michael, and thank you for watching. Okay, my name is Michael, thank you for watching Flea Market Fanatics. Okay, one last time. You can't go forward because okay. the audio. I'll just stay still. Mic, yes. Okay, sorry. My name is Michael. Thank you for watching Flea Market Fanatics. Uh, my name is Jason Nelson. I'm from Youngstown, Ohio. Uh, I've been coming to flea markets for probably about 10 years. Um, I collect pretty much anything that's uh, oddities, strange, bizarre. I also like coming here to people watch, and I'm sure people like to watch me too. Hey, what's your name? Alan Vratkovich. And uh, what's your flea market experience? Um, I've been doing this probably about since 16. I've been coming out here for quite a few years, walking around, shopping, set up as a vendor a couple times, just enjoy it, come out quite a bit. There's like one incident uh, that uh, happened at the flea market where um, someone like uh, tried to sell one of my signs while I went to the bathroom and that's about like the only bad thing that's ever happened, so. <laughs> you brought something to sell? On. I told him just to watch the table while I ran to the bathroom and uh, I told him, you know, don't sell anything till I get back and when I got back, the like one of the best uh, Harley Davidson signs I had was gone and uh, he's like, yeah, I sold it for 10 bucks and I was like, well, you're giving me way more than that because I paid more than that and I pretty much, had to um, MF them for like a half hour straight and threw the, uh, my stuff in my truck and left. <laughs> like uh, crystal skulls I've gotten here, I've gotten like coins, I've gotten, I've seen a lot of taxiderm stuff, thought about buying that, but figured where am I gonna put it. Did you buy your coat at Rogers Flea Market? Yeah, I got it last summer, huge Star Wars fan. Yeah, we hit up Hirsch Burgers that Amish fried pies. Annie and Rufus, they're the owners, they're really nice. They don't have samples, but I yeah. tell Holly, we're not a cost. Yeah, they don't have any samples. And we head out to the open air building outside. We get our expired gum, Love. candy. <laughs> expired gum, yeah. Candy, hit up the cell phone and the charger guy. He's Asian and he sometimes he tells us our stuff's compatible with phones that it's not, but we buy it anyway. I, my favorite thing um, about 
Rogers Flea Market, so you could pretty much find whatever, you, whatever you're looking for. Um, I never leave empty handed. Oh yeah, I, I absolutely think Rogers is the best. It's probably the biggest in the area. Most stuff, I mean, good food, good people, real friendly vendors, I mean, willing to deal with you. And I mean, if you have a question about something, they'll answer it for you. Best in the area. I'm Jess Falstick. You're watching episode two of Flea Market Fanatics. Back with a vengeance. Hello. Okay, hi. Thanks, Susie, for You're helping so us. You're so welcome. It's a real hot one today. It's it hard is. to fight this. This is kind of not normal. Extra powder, extra powder. It's not normal to do this. I don't think there's Guy, any luck. At least it's yeah. not like a tornado or mm -hmm. something crazy blowing in yeah. and then the whole flea market gets yeah, that's... spun around and blown up and destroyed. That All happens right. in Ohio wow. sometimes. You definitely look uh, your age. Better. 58, right? Yeah, that's right. Thanks, buddy. Perfect. So, no offense to the camera, yeah. guys. Thanks, thanks, Susie. You're welcome. So, Steve, I think now what we should probably do, uh, it's lunchtime. I'm starving. It's, uh, we're at Rogers. Well, yeah, I know and that there's a lot of good places to eat. A lot here. of great stuff here. But, yeah. there, if you come to Rogers, there's only like a couple of them that you really want to go right, to. Right, like me, I'm, I'm about the gyros. Is it a gyro or gyro? It's, uh, well, it's, it depends on where you're at and okay. who, who you are. So, well, it, you know what? I, there, there's only one really great gyro here at uh, Rogers, yeah. and it's at it's Chuck's. Chuck's. So Best. we got to go gyro. talk yeah. to Chuck and see what he's got to offer. Yeah, us what, what does he call it? I don't know. Is he called we should probably, yeah, know. we should probably find out. Yeah, let's just go talk. Uh, that'll be a great question. All right, let's go check it. Out. Let's go get some food. All right. Uh, dollar hot dogs. Dollar hot dogs. Dollar hot dogs. Mustard. Dollar hot dogs with mustard. I really uh, would probably uh, never eat anything out of a uh, food truck or anything like that here. I don't, I'm sure a lot of other people do and that's great, but uh, I probably like wouldn't touch it because I'm like a vegetarian and stuff and there's not really uh, many vegetarian options. <laughs> I love the food here. <laughs> I come your, for the food. <laughs> what's your favorite thing to eat here? I like cheese fries. Uh, we got lemon shakes. I, I like the gyros. When I come to the when I come to the flea market, I usually bring um, my wallet, a lot of money, and my appetite, ready to eat some delicious pies and cookies. Uh, my favorite thing is probably the food in the summer. I mean, definitely the gyros, the the sweet tea, the the whole flea market food experience. Uh, my favorite food at the flea market, I guess, would be one of the big donuts. I try not to eat them more than once or twice a year. There's too many calories, but I love them. They're beautiful. I wish they had better coffee, though. I shouldn't say that probably in this. <laughs> Hi, my name's Richard Dean, Dino's Delights. Delighted to serve y'all. I got Cuban sandwiches, trailers, food concession trailers. So we do Cuban, Cubanos, you know, Cuban sandwiches, chips on a stick, taters with flavors. We got 14 different flavored taters. We also do ice cream. We have ice cream in the bag. I would have to say probably the, the Amish donuts. Everybody gets in line for those at like 6.37 in the morning, um, and they're huge. You could feed a family off of one of them. Um, but they make several different flavors and kinds of them. And uh, people come just a lot of times just to get the donuts and the produce. Well, how long have you been uh, at Rogers? Uh, what's, the name of your, what's the name of your restaurant? Chuck's Best Gyros. Okay, and how long have you been here? Since 87. That was my first year. I had a, I had a Greek partner, and he taught me how to make gyros. Thank you. Oh, the, the gyros. Uh, Y'all say gyros down here, but a real Greek will tell you gyros. So I, I love them. The salad or the wrap, it doesn't matter. So we, uh, we were just talking about, like, uh, do you call it gyro or gy gyro, gyro, what do you call it? What is it? Gyro, gyro. <laughs> <laughs> so what exactly well, is it? Whatever the person with 650 in their hand calls it, yes sir, <laughs> that's what we got. Well we decide, you know, we hey. Call them we gyros, yeah. gyro. Give me that. Gyro well, is the way proper yourself. pronouncement. How'd you get started, Chuck? Um, I worked at Air Force Base in Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. and the flea market started about 1.30, o'clock, and my wife and daughter come down and set up, and I put the trailer here on Thursday, and they opened for me, and then we used to go till about midnight. Uh -huh. And why the, uh, the gyros? There's a big grill scraper. 
Why was that your focus? Because I like them. <laughs> yeah, right. But you had a, you, you said your partner was uh, Greek. And yeah, he, and yeah. He, make them. he taught me how to make them, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's not the only thing that you sell here. What other kind of food do you uh, sell here? Black Angus steaks. Oh, man. We got uh, Chamberlain Farm Sausage. It farms right up the road. Okay. We Excellent. get fresh uh, sausage from there. Every Wednesday, they butcher the pigs and make me sausage, oh, fresh wow. sausage. And uh, I get fresh hamburger from there every Friday morning. They grind it for my restaurant. Really? Everybody says, boy, that's the best hamburger. That's because it was raised right up the road. Wow, that's awesome. Fresh cows. It's Everything's so, kind of local. You keep a local focus here. Yeah, I here. tried to, yeah. yeah. So this is uh, this is not just you. This is a family-run business. So you're well. It started off me, and my wife, and my kids, but kind of they all moved away, got jobs, got their own lives, and but but Maggie's my, here. Maggie's here. Well, let's uh, get a second to talk my, to Maggie. My daughter's down here. She's been here for yeah. Let's let's get Maggie she's out here. in ninth here. grade. Excellent. Come on, Maggie. Maggie, come here. Hi. 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 Hey. Hi. Thanks for joining us, Maggie. Yeah, no problem. How long? So you were worked here for 16 years. Yeah. Um, it's. What are you, are you able to do? Uh, make gyros yourself? Or? Yeah, yeah. Okay, pretty so, much. so Chuck, right. uh, Chuck passed on the knowledge to everybody? Or? Yeah, just a couple of us. Okay. <laughs> yeah, not everybody. <laughs> yeah, you don't, you don't share it all with everybody. everybody. Right, right. So, we so have a lot of fun. Yeah. I, I love it here, that's why I work here. Okay. I also have another job. So, oh, you do? Okay. Yeah. This is just my fun job. This is the fun job. Yeah. The so fun, the, the people, they. Yeah, they, yeah, absolutely. The interaction, yeah. Do, do they call it gyros or yes. gyros? Gyros, gyros, gyros. Okay. Whatever they want to call it. Right. As long as they're paying for it. Yeah, we're uh, we're ready to eat. So, hey, Matt. Once again, if you come out, make sure you uh, stop at Chuck's uh, great greatest best 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 <laughs> Chuck's best gyro. Best. No. <laughs> if, you, if you come out, make sure you stop at Chuck's best gyro. 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 There you go. Oh, and there's fun right there. Hey. Hey. I thought I was gonna get that. Oh, no. As soon as you get in line, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah,